Hello. I would like to quickly introduce the feature of on-off time within AEM. So for that, um, there are different ways to set it, either on the replication agent on the author or um, just on the flush agent on the publisher. Now I want to show what happens on the replication agent on the author if in triggers on off time reached is being set. So it's checked, set, and let's have a look. On the publishers, we have the man's page currently available. Um, so we are in man. And uh, let's unpublish that page real quick. So we go to the publishing options. Unpublish the page. Uh, we see up here, that's the um, replication log on the author and the replication log on the publisher. So it has been replicated and flushed. The page is not available anymore. So let's um, set a on-off time on the particular page. That's today, 13.28. This is where we want to have that as PM to be published and then to be up and published again at 13.29 PM. Very well. Let's save that. And let's have a look what happens. Um, so you don't see the time at the moment, I think. Uh, let me show you the time. Slightly above the time, but I think the server time is a little bit delayed. So it will um, basically publish the page any minute now. And what happens is there's going to be a um, replication or a like on time event that then will trigger the replication on the um, replication agent on the author to the publisher for that page. Let's check again. Still not available. But it should be coming any second now. There we go. That should have been that replication job. And the page is available on the publisher. So in a few seconds, um, basically 60, um, the opposite should happen. So again, on the author, um, the on-off time triggers a uh, event that uh, the off time is now reached. And um, the uh, opposite should happen. So um, an unpublishing event. Um, so it should be unpublished from the uh, publisher and therefore the dispatcher um, being flushed as well. It's going to take a few seconds. So that looks like it's been deactivated here. And now it's been deactivated. Um, so basically, the uh, on off time, if set on the replication agent on the author for the publisher, um, then this is very similar to the uh, option to um, basically replicate later um, or publish later. Uh, which we could do in here. Um, so if you want to publish or unpublish later and set an activation or deactivation date. But this replicate later would um, create a workflow that a normal user would not be able to touch again and remove or change um, the on-off time. Um, this is where you would be able to do that. One caveat though is that uh, authors might not expect um, the on-off time to actually um, publish. 
Um, so they might not have that in their mind when setting up time. And then content could be published, which should not be published. Um, the next video will show how to um, basically what happens if the on-off time is only enabled on the publisher. Um, now let's explain that real here, we, we quick here. Um, so what happens if it's only set on the publisher? If it's only set on the publisher, the events need to be, uh, or the page with the on-off time needs to be uh, published to the publisher and it will only trigger the flush agent um, at the on-off time and will sh either show or not show um, the page on the publisher, but the user, the author, really has to publish the page first for this to be activated on the publisher. So if you um, take this away and now it's only set on the publisher. I've previously um, set the uh, replicate, like the, I've previously set the uh, um, flag on the uh, flush agent, I think I've done it here in the author as well, let's see. So on the publisher, so you should be doing that on the publisher, on the dispatcher flush agent. Um, just checking on the author here real quick, edit. Uh, triggers. Yeah, on off hemorrhage. It's not set here, so let me set that real quick. I haven't uh, published that, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, but this has been set on the publisher. I think I can not easily get there at the moment. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the dispatch flush able engine is enabled on the pressure. And here we do have the flag on off time breach set. Prove that. And now let's see if the man page is still available. It's not. I am uh, setting a new on off time. So first have the on-off time perched, save, and let's quickly push that. On-off time moment, um, it will now render um, the page again. And if I wanna uh, use it in this way, um, if I only set uh, the on-off time on the author and do not publish, um, the on-off time would not be respected on the publisher if the publisher doesn't know the on-off time. Um, so let's try it with publishing it. Um, we have removed the off time on the author, so it's not automatically um, it's not automatically published. Uh, we have to do that by hand now. So on 1336, it should be enabled and it should be disabled at 13.37, changes that to PM, save, and quickly publish the page. So the page is still available, hope so.
I think we triggered um, or reached the, the time already. So it's it's not available right now, and we should be waiting um, for a few seconds for the dispatcher flush agent to be triggered again. And then the main page would show up again. Um, interesting thing is this is the publisher. It's not the dispatcher. Um, so you see that the main uh, page is really not rendered at all on the publisher once the um, on off time, so the, the off time is reached. Um, and uh, um, the page is available and it's the rendered. So I hope that showed how the whole thing is working. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Name is Wunsch. Thank you for your interest.